All right, so let's talk about task two. So in this task, we want to see not just whether children can reason about what's in the cup using their approximate sense of number, but whether they can actually use this approximate sense of number to assign a numerical value. That is, whether they can put a number to their estimate. Now, this is something we know is a little bit harder for kids, and it's hard for adults too. It's always hard to say, for example, how many people are in a room. You have an approximate sense, but it's hard to come up with a number. But the numbers that we come up with are related to our approximate sense of number, right? We'll give a really big number for a big crowd, and we'll give a small number for a small crowd. And furthermore, for small crowds, usually we're a little bit more accurate than for big crowds. It's easier to get a sense of how many people are in a small group than in a big group. So we want to see whether that happens in children as well. And that's what we'll do in task two. So task two is very similar to task one in that children will see Gator in his magic cup, but this time instead of giving children that test trial where we show them two cups and ask them to point, after every time Gator's cup adds to a pile, we'll ask children to guess how many objects were in Gator's magic cup. So in task one, we'll do this three different times where we show Gator in his magic cup, and just like before, Gator's magic cup will come and add some number of things to a pile, but this time, after every time, we'll ask kids how many did his cup just add. So let's see how it works. All right, so remember my friend Gator? He has a different magic cup now. All right, this is his magic cup. It adds a different number of things than his cup added last time, but we need to figure it out. So let's try it. Let's get started. So now watch this. I'm going to put some buttons here in front of Gator, okay? See Gator's buttons? Okay, now watch carefully. Here comes Gator's magic cup. Did it work? Yeah. Now, how many things do you think Gator's cup just added? How many things do you think were in his cup? Now you'll just write down your child's guess. You can write it down on this information sheet that comes with the, um, the program. All right, so now what you'll do is you'll do this again twice more with your child. This time Gator's Cup is adding 15 to piles of five, nine, and six. And every time Gator's Cup adds, ask your child how many do you think his cup added? At the very end, ask your child what kinds of strategies they used to figure it out. What did they think about? What did they notice? How did they figure it out? Was it hard? Was it easy? Those kinds of things. Then you'll do the very same thing again with um, this time the cup adding 10, but this time the cup will add to much smaller piles. So previously we've been adding things to five, nine, and six, so slightly larger numbers. This time, the cup will add 10 to piles of 1, 3, and 2. Again, after every time Gator's Cup adds, ask your child, how many do you think were in Gator's Cup? How many objects were in Gator's Cup? How many objects did Gator's Cup add? You can ask those kinds of questions. At the end, ask your children again, what strategies did they use? Was this one harder than the last one, or was it easier? Finally, in the third task of, um, of these with, the, with Gator's Cup, instead of giving your child three tries, they'll just have one try. So if you look at the estimation sheet that you'll give, this, it's backwards because I'm in photo booth, but if you look at the um, estimation sheet, you'll see um, Cup adds three <clears throat> to a pile of one, Cup adds 18 to a pile of six, so what that'll look like is something like this. It's all right, Gator has a different cup now. All right, there's a different number of things in Gator's cup this time and we have to figure it out. So now watch this. I'm gonna put something here in front of Gator. All right, see? Now watch this, here comes his magic cup. Did it work? All right, now how many things do you think Gator's cup just added? How many things were in Gator's cup? All right, so you'll do that with different starting quantities and different numbers of things in the cup. 
But this time, kids will only get one shot to do it. They won't get the three different shots to do it. Okay. So we'll do different numbers, right? Small numbers, big numbers. The idea is we want to hone in on where children have an easier time pinning that approximate sense of number to an actual digit, and when do they have a harder time. Again, just like with all of our tasks, mistakes are interesting, right? We're tapping into the approximate number system. Approximate meaning it isn't exact. So we, it's very unlikely that children will get the exact right number. What's interesting is how far children's estimates or their um, ability to assign a digit, how far that deviates from the actual quantity in the world. That tells us something about our approximate number sense in infancy, childhood, and, and beyond.